I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the three billy goats gruff. I come over to the left hand side, I put three fingers and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw a curved line towards the left, come back to the dot, and a curved line towards the right. Come back to the left and we're just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line. Come on the right, we're going to draw another wavy, wavy line. And now we're going to draw wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. Come on the right hand side and we draw a curved line down, curved line up. And we're going to mimic that line, curve line down, curve line up. Come on the left hand side, curve line down, curve line up. Mimic the line inside, curve line down curve line up. Come right over here on the right hand side and we're going to draw a straight line up, curve line, straight line down on the right, come on the left, straight line up, curve line, straight line down, connect. We're going to put little curve lines going up and around on the right, little curve lines up and around on the left. Come inside and we're going to draw one, two baby circles and we're going to put a dot on the bottom side because we want him looking down. We're going to put a little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. Right here in the center, flat oval, straight line down, curve to the left, straight line down, curve to the right. Okay, now come over, let's put two fingers so we have the space. Put another dot, and from this dot we're going to draw a curve line down, leave it floating, come back to the dot, <clears throat> excuse me, curve line down, leave it floating, come back to the left, wavy line down, wavy line up, connect. Come on the right hand side, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Let's put another curve line down, curve line up, connect. Jump over to the left, curve line down, curve line up, connect. Little curve line, up, connect. Come right here in the middle and go wavy line down, wavy line up. Come on the right hand side, we're going to draw Straight line up, curve line down, connect on the right. Straight line up, curve line down on the left. We're going to fill inside with little, slightly curved lines all the way up. Okay? We come down here and we draw one, two baby circles. Little curve line, straight line, straight line, connect. Straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line. Little curve line on the left, little curve line on the right. This time we're going to draw a little dot in the bottom part of the eye. Okay. Now you should have space right here in the middle. So let's put a dot and we're going to draw a little flat oval. Keep going. And we're going to draw a baby circle, baby circle, little wavy line up and down. And on this one we're going to put the eyes looking down also. Come inside the middle, straight line, curve line, straight line, curve line, curve line down, up, connect on the right, little curve line down, up, connect on the right, jump over, little curve line little curve line on the left. And this one is the baby. He just has curve line, straight line, curve line, connect, straight line, curve line, connect. Okay, now this is very important. Starting on the bottom, we're going to start up and do a big curve line, jump over. Big curve line, 
jump over, big curve line, jump over, big curve line down, and off the page. We come back and we're going to mimic the same line. Big curve line over, keep going, keep going, curve line down, off the page. Now we're going to fill in with straight lines all the way around. Don't draw through your pictures. All the way around, keep going. And there we go. Now we're going to come in here. Take about one finger and put a dot. And from that dot, we're going to draw a wavy, 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 wavy line to the opposite side. We come inside and we're going to draw another wavy, wavy line all the way over and connect. Now come up here and we're just going to draw another big wavy wavy line. Connect, curve line up, down, connect on the right, curve line up, down, connect on the left. One baby circle, two baby circles, but this time we put the eye dot right here at the top. So he's looking up, whereas these people are looking down. We're going to give him a little curve line for a nose, big curve line, little curve line, little curve line, but zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag, zig, zag for teeth. And we're just going to go wavy line out, in on the right, wavy line out, in on the left. We're going to add one more wavy line down here at the bottom and go one, two, three. Okay. Now, starting above, we're just going to go wavy line, wavy line, come down at the bottom. We're going to fill this in with some wavy lines, and I think that's enough. Okay. Now, we want to take one line down here on the left to the bottom, to the edge of the paper, jump over, leave it even, do it on the left and the right. Now, come up, and we're going to draw a straight line, jump over, Straight line, jump over, straight line, all the way to the edge of the paper. And finally, one more line. Straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over. Don't draw through your picture. Straight line, jump over, straight line, jump over, straight line, off the page. Okay, I think that's all. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in all of my horns. Now my three billy goats, they have horns. And I'm using apricot, but if you don't have that color, you can use pink, you can use yellow, you could even leave it white. But I'm going to use my apricot multicultural crayon and color in all of these horns. Baby has a horn too. And the troll has a horn. So don't forget the troll down below. Okay? Next, I'm going to take pink and color in this space, this space, this space, this space, this space, and this space. Next, I take purple. I'm going to color in my noses. Now this was a choice I made just to add a little punch of color. But I'm going to go ahead and make this purple. And for all of the billy goats, I have gray. Now, if you don't have gray, you can choose black and do a light black. Or you could even choose brown and do a light brown. The main thing is, you don't want to color all over your picture so that you can't see their little faces anymore. But you want to try and make all three of these the same color because they are the Billy Goat's Gruff. Okay? Alright. Next, I took light green for my troll. Just so that he would stand out a little bit. So I gave my, my yellow green, if you have yellow green, this is all troll. 
this is troll, and this is troll. So this is all troll. Then I took yellow and I colored in his teeth yellow and I colored in his eyeballs yellow. Okay. All right. Now, the troll is inside the tunnel part. This is the bridge. This is the inside of the tunnel. So I'm going to make it black. So you can tell that he's bobbing up and down in the water a little bit. So this is all black. But the rest of it should be blue-green. And that, or turquoise, and that's just so that you can see that it's a river. The bridge is crossing over a river. And I always do a loop-de-loop, -loop, which is a roundy kind of... Uh, coloring so that I don't hurt my hand. If you color so hard your hand hurts, you're coloring way too hard. And I know this is a lot of coloring, so take your time. And as always, you will do a way better job than me. Alright, my bridge, I ended up using brown. So go ahead and color in your bridge. Now, if you have a better idea or a better color you want to use, that is totally up to you. Because this is kind of a rendition of what the Billy Goat's Gruff was all about. It's not exact, but that's the way art can be a representation. Okay, so that's brown. Last of all, I wanted to do my background. So the first thing I did was in the middle, I put green. Straight lines all the way across. Then I came down and I did the same color green next to my bridge. Okay? Then I came up and I did blue straight lines at the very top of my billy goats all the way across. But then, hello! I went in and I did blue, regular blue, jump over, don't draw through, don't color through your drawing. I did regular blue all the way across. So it kind of gives you a different kind of background. Solid, stripe, solid, A, B, A, B pattern. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here are my Billy Goat's Gruff all colored in. Ready to escape from the troll. Okay, bye-bye.